Finally, the days of a sun goddess being terrible in the game is over. We finally come to the point where she's finally getting an awakening, guys. Jasmine, and you're about to see it right here, right now. Because I'm about to awaken Jasmine and I'm crazy excited. I can't wait. I want to see what she transforms into, what she looks like. If she's going to get less clothing. <laughs> More clothing. I don't know, man. We're going to find out right now. If she's going to be useful in the arena. If she's going to be useful in raids. What's the deal with the sun goddess? I mean, come on. Uh, if you're going to be a sun goddess, you got to be a beast in the game. That's my opinion. You can't be a piece of junk hero who nobody uses and it's just an afterthought. You got to be good. I, you gotta be real good if you're gonna be the sun goddess. So without any further ado, guys, let's take a look how far we are. One point away! I mean, one... Ah! This is what I hate the most, when I have to reset just for one more. Alright, well, that didn't work. Sweep one more! Oh my god! Alright, last sweep. Alright, there we go, guys. So that's the last piece that we needed to finally craft the golden thread. Goldilocks? And then, yeah, equipped it. Boom! Quest 1 is complete, guys. So, let's head over to quest part number 2, Bountiful Caverns, the Dwarven Forge. So, we're gonna have to do this a couple of times here. So, let me just go ahead and throw in some other heroes. How about Tauros, our last awakened hero? Let's run with... I'm gonna go with Silphy, uh, Volko, and let's go Adeline. Why not? Let's just go with this team. Let's finish this off. So, yeah, guys... I've wanted to awaken Jasmine for a long time here. I mean, like I said before, if somebody's a goddess, I automatically picture them being really, really good. Okay? They cannot stink. But, um, yet she sucks. She's a healer, and healing in this game right now is uh, non-existent. You don't need any healing right now, guys. In the meta, it's all about DPS. You guys already know, whoever can dish out the most damage will win. Typically right now. But we need to change that up, man. We need some staller teams. We need some great defensive teams. We need silence teams. We need freeze teams. You know what I'm saying? We need all types of different teams right now. And it's come down to the point where it's just, let's get them from the back. <laughs> Even though I like getting people from the back, uh, that's not cool always, you know? Let's just throw in all our heroes. They're going to attack from the back line and shank them in the back and they're dead. It's game over. That's not cool right now. We need people from the front, and Jasmine can certainly do that. So, let's go ahead. We did the part one, and we, we can just sweep. Woo! Sweepy! And beyond! Complete part number two, guys. Now, if you're wondering how come it only takes two parts, I was wondering the same thing, but it turns out it's not a glitch. They are actually, they meant to do that. So, the last four heroes that have come out, you know, you can awaken those guys literally in one day if you have a Celestial Potion, which is mind-blowing. I'm like, damn, that's really, really cool. Personally, I love it. I mean, what's the point of get, getting a hero right now or two days later? It's just a matter of just waiting two days. But anyways, guys, part number three without anybody dying. Let's go. Oh, I need more stamina. All right. So if nobody's going to die, then we might go really heavy. Batman. Petrols. Eldor in. Two men. This is, I think this is overdoing it, guys. This is the epitome of overkill. You are under the protection of the Sun Goddess. Uh, okay. But so far, you have sucked. Your protection has been useless. And don't tell me I literally went with all physical heroes. And this dude is immune to magic. I mean, he's immune to physical. Oh, dear God. Why did I do this? Yeah, this is retarded. Alright. Must do again. See how... Well, you're, now I gotta waste more thinking imaging. So you're gonna need both, guys. <laughs> magic, let's use you, and physical. So magic and physical, let's just go with this team now. Anytime you do campaigns, always go with both. I don't know why I wasn't even thinking about that before, but just keep in mind. Yeah, uh, 10 times easier now, guys. Come, but come on, this is taking too long. I just want to get the transformation and I want to get to the point where I test her out. You know what I'm saying? I want to test her out and see if she's viable in the arena. Even though it's going to be tough to make her viable in the arena right now. Um, because I'm going to need a good... You need a good pet. You need some ruins. If you want top tier, guys, victory is within reach. You need a really good setup on your heroes now to be really viable in the main arena. Epic arena, it's a little bit different because you have three different teams. Another righteous victory. Alright. But 
the main arena guys, the top top tiers, you want to put all your resources on those five guys. Your best pets, your best everything. So that's why it's kind of tough to really try out in the top. But we will try out nonetheless. Let's go ahead, guys. Drop a like for a new transformation. Jasmine Awakening is here. Let's see. Whoa. All right. Not still the same amount of clothing. Okay. That's fine. I was expecting her to, you know, it's not like I was expecting her to be in a bikini or something. I mean, she is the sun goddess. That's a lot of clothing to be near the sun, if you ask me, but... Alright, seems pretty cool, and how the... Okay, what is that? Wow, are you serious right now? Uh, this uh, card looks fucking sick. Alright guys, this card looks sick, dude. First of all, not judging her on her freaking boobs. Jesus Christ. The card overall looks awesome, but how blatant can that be? Like, I don't get this card at all. <laughs> She's so heavily covered and literally just that spot is open. Come on, man! <laughs> Do they not expect us to judge if it's like that? Um, wow! Holy hell, am I surprised by this card. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> wow! Alright guys, let's go ahead. Jesus Christ, this is becoming one of my favorite cards. Holy moly. She's looking good. She's looking really freaking good, guys. Jesus! Let's... Alright. Can I give her anything here? Physical toughness. Uh, hey, why not? Whatever I got. Ooh, physical crit. No. What? what, what? Everything is physical. Energy bonus plus 4%. That's fine. I'll give her that. All right, guys. So let's break down her awakened skill here. And let's see what this is all about. Strength and resolve. That sounds really good. All units who are healed by Jasmine, Jasmine gain a temporary boost to their magic armor. All right. So let's go ahead. Now I'm going to boost this up to about 20 and i'm gonna leave it there for now because don't think it's gonna be that much of a difference but increase magic armor of healed units by 171 that's average that's not that bad <sighs> but right now heavy heavy meta doesn't really help but it does help against some teams who are really using you know magic heroes so it's okay i don't think it's a great you know game changer guys to be honest makes her obviously a lot more useful but it's not a game changer. It doesn't make her a must-have hero. Still average, I think. Still not a top-tier hero. But anyways, let's go ahead. Let's keep bumping her up. All right, so let's go ahead in the forge here. I'm going to auto-forge 20 times just for a little small boost. Small boost. I'm all about the small increments, guys. You can't boost everybody. Boom! All at once. Small increments of boosting is all you need to succeed. Not really. You need a huge freaking boost, but... Oh, you see, last one discarded, so that was a waste of gold. So we don't want to go any further than that. But now I'm going to take her in the arena, guys. I want to see if this is going to help me out a little bit. So let's go ahead with the healing in the arena. All right, guys, so this is typically where I slow down the video to show you guys what her abilities are. But that awakened ability is not really that hard to understand. Once she uses her ultimate and heals everybody up, they're going to gain a magic armor, which is pretty self-explanatory. So I don't have to do much explaining about that. But let's check out what the battle is going to be looking like in here. So I went with a couple of, uh, lot, you know, a big different team than I normally do, guys, because it's I'm not in the top tier of the arena right now. I'm in the bottom tier. So, just to show you guys really quickly, uh, some potential lineups that you can do. Um, Firehawk works pretty good with Jasmine because obviously the healing and Firehawk works really well with heals. Uh, Dr. Zeno is also really great because this guy will boost up your physical and magic attack. You know what I mean? To heroes that don't really do that much damage. So, once he goes into his ultimate here, everybody's physical attack and uh, magic attack is boosted up. So, it helps out a lot and we end up getting the win. Um, let's see who was our main dealer there and Firehawk just deals a lot of damage if you already have Firehawk You know she does AoE damage or he does AoE damage guys hits everybody up uh, It's usually gonna do a lot of damage so uh, But doesn't mean that Firehawk is a top tier hero <laughs> don't get it twisted, but he's not bad But he's not a top tier hero. I wanted to show you Jasmine now. Let's take a look. I don't even think she went into her Yeah, she didn't even go into her heal 
And then that's going to bring me to my next point, which we're going to go into right now. So the point that I wanted to make, guys, about Jasmine in the arena is... It's her energy. That is the main problem of Jasmine. Getting her ultimate off actually helps you out a lot. It's got multiple different things that it does. First of all, not only will it heal the entire team, but it also blinds your opponent. <clears throat> right? So that's actually a pretty good thing. So it blinds and it heals. And now it also raises magic armor, which is all really good things. Blinding, raising magic armor, and healing. Three different things with the ultimate. The problem is uh she doesn't really get it off a lot because she barely gets it off sometimes her energy is very slowly building up and then that's the problem with jasmine in the arena you could run some energy ruins on her all right that would help you out uh, energy efficiency ruins that would be good if you have one that would help out but it's not it's not gonna make the biggest difference in the world guys it, it just doesn't make a huge difference uh i'll show you here some of her stats because she is pretty much all you know finished out in the heroic academy and then i just have to work on her you know enchanting this item as well but yeah that's pretty much it guys in my opinion she's still a mid-level tier hero not super bad but not the best arena hero she will help you out a lot in your crucible of fire run and that's mainly it guys just a crucible of fire if you're having a hard time she's a healer you know i put her pretty you know as the best healer in the game flora is actually pretty good too she's got a lot of nice abilities but she's the best healer in the game because her ultimate just does a lot of different things but other than that guys that's pretty much it i'm loving this card though shit <laughs> i love the card but she still kind of just went up a little bit didn't really jump up the tier too much for me but yeah that's about it for today guys i hope you enjoyed that drop a like if you did and i'll catch you guys on the next soul hunters awakening video till then have a good morning good afternoon and good night